to Shepard. Enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, Humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard.
ounce is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the- I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought- You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? No, thank you. Just passing through. Next! Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks for your time. Next! They are too comfortable. They trust their security to machines. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. 
The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a Quarian the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. The well, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place, put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm going to retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. I need to talk to the Council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers to avoid a public panic. It must have been convenient to blame the Geth. 
What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. So do you... Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen.
Maybe a fish, then? What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with the citadel. Besides, it'll be dead in a couple of years. The important thing is to embrace the time that you have to spend with a fish. No, oh, for... Is this the lifespan talk? I'm not having the lifespan talk. like. I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I hear an Erdnot went up there once. <laughs> an Erdnot on the Presidium. That'd be the good. can I do for you? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits! Shepard, in my store! I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shatha for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. 
If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship, the personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche, a small, tight-knit community. I'll be going. Good hunting, Shepard. We can use this. I'll take it. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun, and you can install it on an Omni tool. Biomedical firm Serta Foundation is reporting a medical breakthrough against a new strain of interspecies influenza. The development comes as a result of samples contaminated during a biotic attack on their research center two years ago. Fortunately, there were few casualties. An Exogeny archaeological team has been reported missing. They were last seen in the Aea cluster's Enoch system, an area of heavy pirate activity. Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Former hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. The Batarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Balak, remains at large. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Khalees have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago, when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, you're news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check it. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show.
notice you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind Where's the Restroom? Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply is independent from the water storage tanks and pools. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. I notice you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right. Those are reservoirs. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the condo. They're coming in very nicely. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh, sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? They don't like live animals on the city. Wasted life support capacity, they say. I can't believe there aren't any fish up there. It must be a mistake. Can we talk about something else now? This is depressing. How about we find a Turian and beat the crap out of him? That always makes you feel better. for data protection for any game we sell. If copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download it. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind.
Wong. Horizon has become the latest and largest human settled world to disappear in the wave of lost colonies. As before in such cases, the human representative to the council has requested an official investigation. This was rejected by a three to four vote in session. The council maintains the matter is an internal alliance issue. Councillor Valor noted, having a seat on the council implies a species can handle its own problems and assist others with theirs. Alliance Councillor Anderson agreed, but requested increased access to the council's space tracking network. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. The corpse of Denaria Claris, the sanitation worker reported missing from Kithoi Ward, has been found. CSEC has issued a statement that foul play is suspected in Claris' death. The investigation is ongoing. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Despite harsh criticism from the interstellar community, the Batarian hegemony has refused to stop production of their new orbital mirror system. The quick deploying arrays can be used for terraforming, but observers fear they could be corrupted for use as weapons of mass destruction. The Citadel Council has dispatched a crisis team of mediators to the Batarian homeworld of Karshan. Meanwhile, anonymous sources with the Council administration suggest that a specter has been deployed to hegemony space. likely to gain council membership. However, she suggested an announcement could come soon. Emotions at Shepard's rumored survival are mixed. While some are overjoyed to see him return, others believe his false death was a betrayal. All businesses using security mechs have been asked to check their systems for a potentially deadly virus that can disable targeting safeties and friend or foe identification. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. Could I interest you in a Turian Esperant sporting shuttle? Unmatched acceleration, peerless maneuvering, and like all Turian shuttles, it can fit a light mass accelerator cannon. Perfect for heavy traffic. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? This clanness is a thief. And I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. You spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni-Tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. 
but she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarins are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. This is the warehouse where Gara set up a meeting with the Forger. If you wish to find Fade, Gara should accompany you. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the Immuno Booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for a little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the Immuno Booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled, but I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. 
I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit shit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried fuel. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. 
Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I guess I'm on my own. Again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems, but Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. 
We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Kate Nolenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the Collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Alenko didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this. Or even that they exist. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. The recent attack on Horizon has other Council species looking to their own security. The Turian fleet is reportedly bolstering its crew complement, while the Salarian Special Tasks Group is reportedly investigating the colony attacks. Blue Sun's mercenaries in the Decora system took heavy losses fighting against unspecified criminal groups, according to leaked reports. A Blue Sun's representative declined to comment. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Hey. What do you think of our mission? I know when someone's got murder on their mind. The Collectors are out to kill us. Rather do it to them first. I should go. Okay. Talk later. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something 
someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? I don't want to risk your health, but I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine. To share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle, I'll find a way. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Shepard. How do you think our mission is going? Spirits are high. We have a strong team and everyone is committed. I should go. Of course. Shepard, is there time to visit the Citadel yet? Not yet. I shall return to my meditations. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Commander! Those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sodomus. I'll let you know, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. It seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. With something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud, and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander.
still need to get to Chuchanka, Shepard. My students being held by Blood Pack. I'll talk to you later, Morton. We'll be here if you need me. Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. No messages for you, Commander. <laughs> 